Good morning, pets, bitches, and losers, and all you fabulous ladies and everybody else out there in between. How the fuck is everybody? Shut up. Um, still haven't found my glasses. God, I hope I didn't donate them. I really do. So, it is 915 that means 15 minutes ago, uh, part four with my interview with I'm the Red Queen went up. We talk a little bit about uh, safety um, and like cash meets and stuff. And yeah, uh, just kind of stuff like that. Um, I, I addressed yesterday that I... Um, hope nobody took my bow, chicka, bow, bow, um, comment like I was trying to um, shame uh, sex workers, uh, specifically escorts or anything. I wasn't. I was just, just trying to make a point that if you agree to meet somebody somewhere, sometimes they might think that it is a different type of transaction, if you know what I mean. Nothing wrong with those transactions, just that if that's not what you're trying to do, you can put yourself in some pretty serious uh, situations that could not turn out very well. So that's all I meant by that. So I don't want anybody to get in like, because it ain't about that. Um, oh, tomorrow. I'll be doing a slight rant tomorrow, too. I have to take my little itty bitty picky poo poo, my little tiny three pound, three legged dog to the vet. She just hasn't been herself. I think it's been really like cold and wet here. And, you know, having three legs. She puts a lot of pressure on her other legs, so I'm thinking that she's getting um, arthritic, and uh, yeah, so she got to go to vet tomorrow. I don't like seeing my little booty all upset, so like I said, I'm looking for a goddamn sub that will fucking finance my pets for me, like every time I have to buy food, toys beds and vet bi visits. I want somebody to reimburse for that shit. I guarantee you it's going to be probably around 250. Seems to be the norm or more. But here's the deal. You keep your fucking pets healthy. When you start seeing stuff go wrong, you address it. You don't wait and hope that it may get better. I mean, I might wait like a week because I was like, well, maybe she's just a little sore or a squirrel. My God, move you little fucker. Damn squirrel, squirrel. Um, you know, I was, I've waited like probably a, about a week and a half. I noticed kind of last Tuesday, she wasn't feeling good, but sometimes she just doesn't, you know, she gets, uh, she gets, I call it bubble guts, uh, where her tummy just gets upset. So, I wasn't sure if it was that or whatever. And now I'm like, okay, she's having problems getting up her little stairs to the bed and stuff like that. So, anywho, yeah, if you fucking take care of your pets, um, you're not going to have huge, huge bills. But, yeah, I would really, really, really like a pet sub. You know, somebody who will take care of all my pet expenses. Yeah, if you really want to fucking serve us, guys, you should really fucking like, you know, serve us in ways we want. I mean, most of the time they, you know, true subs do, but a lot of uh, subs are very self-serving as far as like, well, I'll buy you sexy stuff and sex toys and stuff like that. Hoping that they're going to fucking see us in them. Now. Although I did say whoever bought like the bunny robe and a pair of bunny slippers off my wish list, I would send them a cute little video. Sadly, I have not seen them. So, hmm, I 
I said, I feel that some people ordered some shit off my wish. This is the weird thing. I feel that people ordered some shit off my wish list, but they didn't tell me that they did and try to scam me. Because that's usually a thing where subs will be like, oh, I got you something off your wish list. I'm like, okay, well, I'll, I'll pat you on the head when it gets to, you know, when I get it. Because um, it was like a couple weeks ago that saying stuff was ordered and I haven't gotten shit. I got one thing from uh, a dom. So, I don't know. I don't know if I pissed you off and you are like, fuck that bitch. And you deleted it or you had buyer's remorse or what. But it's all good. It's all good. My crazy sub who pops in and out. He literally drives me nuts. He likes that. He likes when I talk about it, too. Um, he says, I have a surprise coming. I'll believe it when I see it. Usually, though, when he says that, it's true. He has uh, gifted me very well. He likes keeping things on the down low. He's like, you don't need to share this. I'm like... He goes, you talk about me enough as far as, like, how flaky I am. I'm like, well, bitch, you are flaky. You are flaky! You drive me nuts! But the only reason, because I deal with him, because he does, when he worships, that motherfucker worships. So, you know. And he's funny. And we have a good rapport, actually. We have a really good rapport. I like when you have good rapport with the subs. Like, when you can, like, talk non-kink shit. Like, if you're going to honestly be, like, a long-term sub or own sub, I got to be able to, like, you know, vanilla talk with your ass, too. Like, let's talk, you know. I can get out of sub space. You know. Um, I think it's important. Some guys, honestly, you're never going to, like connect with them because they're kind of more more the kinksters they just want you know their kink fulfilled and then they want to move on that's fine you know nothing wrong with that just be honest okay so I saw a girl uh post <laughs> on Twitter today and I was like I don't think I've ever talked about this if I have oh what the fuck's going on up there Sorry, just trying to figure out. Uh, God damn. I think we had like a power surge or something because the stoplights are out in certain areas. And when the stoplight's out in Atlanta, people fucking don't understand the whole like stop, let the other person go, go, and vice versa. But anywho, let me get back to what I was talking about. If you're a sub and you want to be owned, and you feel like I, I've had this happen and I'm like, if you want to be owned, I'm pretty sure I've talked about this, but I'm going to say it again. And ladies, this is for you too, but mostly for the subs, just because you tribute like $5, $10, $20, even a fucking hundred dollars, even a fucking thousand dollars. First, like say like first tribute, I'm tributing you a thousand dollars. I want you to own me. Uh, thank you for that generous tribute, but no, because everything's under consideration. I have to make sure, just because you give money does not prove to me that you would be a sub worthy of being owned by me. Now, everybody's like, well, what's so, you know, why is it so uh, special to be owned? You get, like, you get different type of interaction and stuff. Like, my last own sub who ghosted me, I mean, like I said, I had him create a wish list that I could add stuff on and then go buy stuff for him because I appreciated him. You know, I appreciated him and yeah, and he ghosted me, whatever. If you're watching, I hope you miss me. I hope you miss me, pet, because for you to come back, 
you would have to grovel so, so much. And it would cost you so much money. Yeah. So, anywho, just because you tribute a large amount of money, you are not proving that you are loyal. You are not proving that you're going to be obedient. And ladies, you're retarded if you're like, okay, I'll own you. <laughs> Do you really understand what goes into owning a sub? Owning a sub, I mean, you you are obligated to be there for them. This is something that, you know, you work out. If I own you, you we kind of have an agreement that you are to do X, Y, and Z, and I am also to do X, Y, and Z. Now, people might be like, well, what's X, Y, and Z? It totally depends on the sub. It totally depends on you. Um, you know, you got to have conversations, got to figure shit out. Why do you want to be owned? Do I do applications? I think I talked about this yesterday. Now I think they're retarded, but that's just me. I'm not shaming anybody. If you do an application, you can go for it. Have a good time. I would do applications if I did real life sessions. Oh yeah, if I do a cash meet, you're gonna fucking give me some info. I'm not going out that way and I'm sure you don't want me shooting your ass cause you're fucking stupid. So yeah, all this like owning a sub is a lot of work, uh, a lot of time. And um, like I said, you could put in a lot of work, a lot of time. You think you befriend somebody and then they ghost you or whatever, you know. I actually just, uh, Mr. Cray Cray, who like pops in and out and is a pain in my ass. He one time addressed, why don't you own me? I'm like, bitch, you are not consistent. No. I'm not going to own you. You fucking drive me crazy. And then he's like, well, if you owned me, I'd be better. I'm like, fuck you. If you can't be obedient, just not being owned. No, it don't work that way. That's like, oh, our marriage is bad. Let's have a kid. That'll make it better. Because having a newborn baby ain't going to stress shit out. Yeah, no, I don't fall for that shit. So I could give fucks if I own people. If I own you, that means you have to now, I used to do like 30 days, you have to do X, Y, and Z and be consistent and this and that. I might do longer. It's all depending on how they want to be owned or what. I don't know. It's individual. I can't sit there and say there's a fucking, you know, mold for all. There isn't. So you do you. So, yeah, subs coming in and being like, I tributed, I want to be owned by you. Well, you got to fucking prove yourself. You know, that fucking dude who <laughs> tributed $5, then tributed another $5, and is all like, Tell, I want to, you know, I want to be owned, and I wanted this, and I wanted that. And I'm like, bitch, like, you know, like, have me do something. I'm like, go clean your bathroom and scrub the toilet and film it or take pictures of it. I want to see. And it was like, I could tell how he was doing everything. It was half fucking assed. Like, when I have subs that are really into doing um, chores and stuff, you know, like, tell me something to do. You can tell that you know, they're into it. This fucker wasn't into it. And then he's like, may I come mistress? Oh, so this is what this was about. You just wanted, you're a kinkster. You just want to be told what to do. And then you get off being told what to do. And then you want to jack off. Well, yeah. Okay. I can do that for you, but not for $10. So bye. Um, I don't know. Go to fucking some cheap ass bitch so um yeah so being owned like if you're a true sub you understand if you're new into this world should have taken the other route because this shit is uh, why there's so much traffic that was stupid of me um yeah. um so anywho um, yeah, so being owned is, if you're new, oh, I was saying, if you're new to the world of BDSM as far as being a submissive, 
Um, yeah, it just doesn't work that way. With really good doms, it just does not work that way. Mm -mm. It's a lot of work. And if you really want that connection, somebody's not going to be like, okay, I'll own you for $5. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Send to me, piggy. Um, I'm also going to uh, point this out. Um, if you don't follow Niera, it's N E R A. I think it's Mistress Niera Sky, something like that. I follow her. I retweeted uh, her video this morning, and it talks about v female supremacy and what it actually means. So, like, she points out all these girls that are, you know, being like, oh, yeah, we're superior, uh, you know, the men. But, bitch, I look better than your wife in this. <sighs> you just kind of, like, diss the wife. And the wife is also female. So, you know, there's ways of doing, I guess, home wrecking with out fucking bashing the wife if some motherfucker comes to me and is like I want you to talk shit about my wife or girlfriend I'm like bye not interested you know not interested because this is how I look at it if you want somebody to talk shit about your significant other it's probably because you feel that way and you just want to be validated by somebody else, whether it's play or not. I'm sorry. I know chicks do it all the time, but, you know, yeah, yeah. I think maybe once I've, I've really tried being careful not to tweet out shit, but yeah, I don't think I could be wrong, but maybe way in the beginning... I was like, yeah, I'm hotter. I don't think I've ever said I'm hotter than your girlfriend or hotter than your wife. I don't know. If I did, like I said, I own my shit. So if anybody scrolls back through my fucking tweets way back in the beginning and you find that, let me know. Oh, that'd be good. But I'll own my shit, bitch. I own it. God, it is like trafficking. Um, so yeah, if you're dissing other women, you know, you are not into female supremacy. Maybe you're into your supremacy, but to me, that doesn't make you very supreme. So, um, okay, I need some like truth here. I am using a new foundation. I ordered it. It came in one of my beauty boxes, Boxy Charm. You love how I talk about female supremacy and then I'm talking about my, like, my makeup. And the reason why I said that is because I looked at myself and I was like, oh, not that bad. So I ordered um, in uh, BoxyCharm. I get to pick uh, stuff every now and then. And this is the Becca New Foundation. And I got it in a darker shade than I probably normally would because I actually mix foundations. Um, and when it gets summery time, I do get a little more color from writing and everything, even knowing I always wear sunscreen, wear your sunscreen, bitches, wear it. Um, so do I look crazy or do I look okay? Um, at first I just put it on my skin, like only that on my skin. And I was like, Whoa, I'm dark and orange. So I mixed it with some other and you know, so as far as I can see, it looks okay on film. I'll look back. I'll, you know, the true test is when you take a picture. Yes, I am a makeup whore. So, pets I want. Um, back to BDSM. I want a sub that will um, fund my pets. Um, and I'm not going to be stupid. You know, I just, every blue moon, we might have to, like, buy some toys. But otherwise, it's mostly, like, you know, food, vet visits, uh, medication. Only one of my dogs takes medication. I don't know. Pixie might have to now, but it's not that expensive. I try to do everything very cost effective. I have five dogs. 
so I know. Um, so I want one of those. I want a makeup beauty regime sub. And I was thinking, I was like, how would I do that? Um, so you would be in charge of paying for my beauty boxes. And I've also, I've actually kind of cut down on some of my beauty boxes. Um, or, you know, I was like, okay, I don't need that. I don't need this. Like, so I'm kind of streamlining shit. So it's really not as bad. And then you would have to tribute like a certain amount a month for me to be able to buy necessity stuff that I want and like new makeup. Yeah, it's probably like around 150 to 200 dollars, and I'm being conservative. If you want to give more, great. And then I can sit there and you, when I have lipstick, you can think about you bought that for me and it's going on my lips. <laughs> um, yeah, and see, uh, what's another one I would like? Oh, one of the other girls yesterday, we were talking about, like, I want a sub to open up a home goods credit card for me and be the one that pays the bills. I'm like, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. TJ Maxx home goods? Fuck yeah. Yeah. Here's the thing also. I, I, somebody might be like, well, fuck, bitch. You might run that shit up to $5,000. I'm not, unless I know you have an unlimited fucking income, I ain't gonna go fucking crazy. I've had, I've had a sub that opened a credit card for me and I used it. It was a gas card. <laughs> I think about it. I'm like, yeah, it was a gas card. I guess he didn't open it for me. It was one I did in real life sessions. My one sub that always took me to dinner. I just realized he gave me a gas card that I was on his account. And I was just to buy my gas. And I did. And I only bought gas. I didn't go into like the fucking, you know, gas station and buy a bunch of shit. I just bought gas with it. And he paid for it. You know. It was great. Because gas in California is expensive. So, yeah. I mean, come on, bitches. Come on, bitches. You guys always sit there and like, I want to serve you. I want to serve you. Like I said, do you really want to serve? Or are you a kingster and you just want to get off real quick? Don't get me wrong. Subs that serve also can get off. But they get off also on serving. And they also usually have some type of kink. Like I said true fin subs are like fucking unicorns for somebody to actually just want to you know tribute to you because they get off on that whatever so yeah they're out there but they're far and in between I don't know do I look a little orange do I look a little orange Ugh, I do look a little orange don't I Meh. I look a little orange I look a little orange I'll be able to really tell at work how orange I am. I used to use the Kat Von D uh, foundation and over throughout the day, all of a sudden I'm like, I look orange. I look like I got a bad spray tan. So anyhow. So yes, there are many ways you can serve that would really make an impact and show that you really want to serve, you know? So, yeah. I just keep adding stuff to my wish list, too, because... I don't know. I have my own private wish list that I buy shit off for myself. So, gift cards are always appreciated. Uh, but the stuff that I kind of put on my, uh, my queen wish list... Is stuff I want... I could buy it myself, but, you know, I want it. I don't really absolutely need it. Although, motherfuckers, I am trying to... Will somebody go buy that damn bullwhip for me? I don't know why. I just am like, no, I want a sub to buy it. I don't... I feel that subs should buy all my play gear. That's how I feel. 
I, I actually, I think every fucking the flogger I still have was given to me by a, uh, a sub. A new riding crop that I got was given to me by a sub. I'm trying to think of my other whip. I don't know who bought that for me or if I bought it just because it's one of my favorite whips. Um, but anywho, I don't know. I just feel like that should be, should be sub-funded, whether you give me money and say, this is for buying, you know, gear, or you just go and buy a couple things off my Amazon list. Amazon, you know, I was like, well, that's not real gear. Okay, riding crops and stuff, the riding crops I look at are actually equestrian riding crops, so guess what? That's a real fucking riding crop. If somebody wants to be super fancy, you'll find an Hermes riding crop for me and spend like a thousand dollars because I would fucking die if I had an Hermes riding crop. <laughs> In black with silver. Chop, chop, get to it. It could be vintage. I don't care. I want one. The guy that mentored me had one. Uh, what color was his? I want to say it was red. Yeah, either black or red. Ooh, I'll do white. Uh, fuck it. I'll do any color. I'll do any color. Hermes. A real Hermes riding crop. <gasps> yes, bitch. Yes. But anyways, the stuff that I put on my Amazon list, like the bullwhip I have on there, yeah, it's probably not the best quality, but I haven't been doing that type of, uh, you know, work in a while. So I just kind of want a a whip that I can take out in the backyard and just beat the shit out of and not give two fucks about. And because usually when I do have like in the past bought gear, I go to specialty places, you know, like places that actually sell BDSM gear. So don't try to shame me. I'm not getting one of those little vloggers that looks like it's made out of tissue paper ladies spend a little more money make it look a little beefier if you're trying to fake it like every now and then I see somebody oh I just got these toys for me and I'm gonna like do some content and it's this fucking little fucking everybody gets the same one it's supposed to be a flogger it's about this big around it's black the handle's wrapped in, you know, leather strips with little flat silver studs. And it has the little, you know, whippy things that are about that wide. And the leather looks like it's that thin, you know. It's just like, mm, yeah, okay. Then they're like, yeah, I'm going to do a session. I'm going to beat your ass. You could fucking hit me with that shit. You ain't going to leave marks. You might leave. You know. No. So, yeah. If you really want to be educated on, like, BDSM equipment, look at doms that do real-life sessions and the shit that they use. I'm not saying that you can't every now and then get shit off of uh, Amazon that is passable. But, yeah. Um... Etsy has some fucking fantastic shit. Oh my god. I have some stuff on my Etsy that I want really bad. Shit's expensive. There's some really good like whip makers from like Russia and Ukraine and shit. I'm not sure what that's about, but damn. And some like leather body harness strappy things that I'm like, I want that. So, yeah. Mm hmm. Send a couple hundred bucks. I will, like, do a whole photo thing for somebody, whoever, like, buys my shit. But anywho, um, yeah, just, uh, I get it. I get it. I get it. I know a lot of you bitches get pissed off at me. You're like, oh, my God. Like, who are you? Bitch, I'm nobody. I'm me. I'm the motherfucking queen. 
I may be nobody to you, but I am a lot to others. And that's okay. I don't have to be something to everybody. I don't give two fucks. Nor should you give two fucks what I say. If it really bothers you, then I'm hitting a nerve. I'm just trying to make you, like, you know what? If you're going to fake it, I'm just trying to make you look like you know what the fuck you're doing. All right. Oh, let's talk. I talk about this because I am shook. Okay. Go to YouTube. Well, you're on YouTube. Go to a channel called Information Overload. How many of you watch it? Oh. And start watching the videos of, like, the influencers and, like, the Kardashians and all kinds of people, like, when they use Facetune and, like, the influencers that they show, like, their... I, I talk about this all the time, but I'm just fucking fascinated and I feel so much better about myself. So, people use Facetune and Snow. Snow is where you can, um, it's like Facetune, but you can actually record yourself so it can adjust you. So, I know all these bitches are like, yeah, okay, go do it. Um, here's the thing. Like I said, I, I will use a filter every now and then. I actually put a filter uh, picture on my Twitter last night. I look like an alien. It has like changed the shape of my face and my eyes and everything so much. Like I look like an alien. I look like a descendant from an alien. Um, but it's, it's pretty, you know, but I, I, hell yeah, that's a filter. I mean this shit, no, I'm filming right off of my phone on just, you know, iPhone video. Um, so yeah, I look like this. I look orange, um, but um, it. <sighs> I see girls that I'm like, bitch, you're so pretty. I was having this conversation with one of the girls that I work with last night, and she's gorgeous. She's 21. She has like a 24 inch waist. She's itty bitty. She has a bod on her. She's just she's really gorgeous. And she said purposely, she will not download like any type of like Facetune and stuff like that because she doesn't want to like do it and then get in there and start like tweaking herself and be like, oh my God, I like how I look like that more so than how I really look. Um, a lot of stuff's just not attainable, especially that fucking flawless skin look, bitch. I got a lot of makeup on right now. I probably have a little more than I should for the daytime because I had to try to de-darken myself and I had to layer foundations and shit. So, when you're young, oh my God, I had such good skin when I was younger. And I mean, I have pretty good skin now too, but I mean, that shit was like snatched and I was just like, Argh. I hardly ever had to wear foundation because my skin was so good. Don't tan your face. Don't tan your face. That's why I don't have fucking wrinkles. See that? I don't ever put Botox here. I only put Botox here and here. So yeah, don't tan your motherfucking face. It will fucking prune up. The hell? Um. So yeah. Um. But this face, ugh, it's it just makes me sad when I like. When I see girls where I'm like, you're already really gorgeous. And then you see them like really tweak their shit. Really tweak it. Like really tweak it. And I'm like, wow. okay. Okay. Like you want to tweak it a little here and there. I'm not going to lie that I might tweak here and there, but I don't really change my face. Uh, except for the filter. Like to smooth out my skin. That, yeah, but as far as like, um, like if I've ever used Facetune on my catfish account, on my backup catfish account, I will post, uh, I have some pictures to post on there and I can't fucking remember my damn login for my phone. So I gotta do it and I don't, long story, but anyways, I'll, I'll try to do that tomorrow. Um, where I've used like. I'm like, I'm going to get this little itty bitty tiny waist or I'm going to do like my face and my lips huge, you know. So, um, yeah, uh, I don't know. I just, you know, 
makes me, when I see that shit, I'm like, damn, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm going to be 53 this year. I'm doing fucking good. I'm doing really good. So, um, this, you know, come on. If, I mean, if that's your, I don't know. You do you, boo. But there is an epidemic where women, girls are going into plastic surgeons' offices saying, I want to look like this. I think I talked about this yesterday. And it's just, a lot of this shit's not possible. And you're just going to set yourself up for being disappointed. Um, We have men to do that for us, honey. And if you're doing this to look cute for a dude, fuck them. They're lucky they even get to fucking look at your ass. That's another thing, queens. Remember, these motherfuckers are lucky that they're even in the same fucking hemisphere as us. That they breathe the same air. That they're on the same earth. So don't get it fucking twisted. Remember, you are a motherfucking queen. You are female supremacy. We all are. And to you subs, you need to fucking appreciate. You have women in your life, you motherfucking appreciate them. If you don't and you call yourself a sub, you're not a motherfucking sub. You treat them badly, fuck you. If they treat you badly, then get the fuck out. You know, that whole like, oh, they treated me this way, so I'm going to treat them that way. Yeah, that's, that's healthy. You know, fucking, that goes for everybody. If you're in a fucking toxic fucking situation, get the fuck out. People are like, it's easier said than done. Bitch, I know. The crazy ex I was talking about. Oh, that shit took me like eight months to get out of it. So I fucking know. No, not eight months. Probably like three. I was with him eight months. A good three or four months. I'd say four months. Yeah, that bitch was crazy. Oh, I'm really late. Okay, I gotta go. Anyways, bitches, you know what to do. Tribute.